Hey, what's up? Blackpool Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 2022 action thriller film Blackout starring Josh Duhamel, Nick Nolte, a bunch of other people were in this. It's an hour and 21 minutes and I timed it all. The movie itself is an hour and 16 minutes and then five minutes of credits. Super quick, very action paced, a lot of fight sequences, the special effects with the blood was really good. A lot of people hated this film. And I don't know why, because it gave us the story. Guy wakes up, Josh Duhamel's character wakes up in a hospital. No memory who he was, but he can do stuff, right? He can defend himself. And then, like, he's told he works for this cartel. And then he's told he's actually been undercover uh, for five years and works for the DEA. And then it's a matter of who's the truth and who's telling the truth and where's this steel case that he hid and... The cartel leader wants it, but the DEA agents are trying to sell it. And things, right? Things. Main chunk of the film takes place in a hospital. So it's just a matter of finding the cartel, the, this Mexican cartel in this hospital in Mexico, going through stuff, climbing through the air ducts and elevator shafts and just fights in the kitchen. That was a neat scene. And then it's, you know, it's a two crossing stuff at the end and who runs off with the case into the sunset. And that's it. Very simple. Beginning, middle, end, no long, drawn-out conversations, very quick. I don't know why people didn't like it. I mean, some of the dialogue was forced, but, like, it holds the attention. The action sequences are cohesive. The generic plot point of person wakes up, no memory, and trying to figure out what happens next. And it's just a double-crossing film. It's, it's fast. There's nothing problematic about it i don't i don't get why people don't like it because it did everything it's supposed to do i don't clearly i'm in the minority on this but i have no issues watching this i don't know who this was specifically made for i know it's rated tvma but i know it's not technically a netflix original film so i don't know who actually produced this um, but it is available currently streaming on Netflix. So we'll see what happens moving forward. Who then gets the next streaming rights as good old contracts go. Um, Josh Jumal is an action star. You know, it's, it, it's, it's, it's a neat turn when he plays a father character and then goes back to action films because he can do all. He's just wonderful. He's a wonderful human being. He's a very incredible talent. I'm, I'm happy to see yet another Josh Jumal project. Um... I know no fun facts about this. I didn't really find problems with it. I don't know why people don't like it. Blackout 2022 film, currently streaming on Netflix. On to the next review. Mitch Mahalo.